हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंग्लिश क्लास टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू रीड सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ सिक्स चैप्टर दिस चैप्टर इज दिस इज जॉडीज फोन अप टू फर्स्ट पार्ट वी हैड रीड जॉडीज फादर हैज बीन बिटन बाय ए रेटल स्नेक ही क्विकली किल्स अ डो एंड यूज इट्स हार्ट एंड लिवर टू ड्रॉ आउट द पॉइजन जॉडी वंडर्स that uh, what will happen to the little fawn left without a mother in the forest so students uh, he decided to bring the fawn home and for that he convinced his family and uh, in order to uh, get the fawn home he goes to the forest in the search of fawn along with milwil you can see in the picture he is going on the horse with the mill wheel in the in order to search the phone in the forest so in second part uh, we will read that uh, how far their search reached so let's just start reading but before going to read i would like to tell you word meanings so um, uh, we will have a glance at word meanings which are given in this part um, left or right side of the matter let's have a look first word is given makes a bearing makes a bearing it means acts as a compass and helps to identify directions it is given with the sentence that uh, the tall that tall pine makes a bearing means uh, that pine tree tall pine tree acts as a compass and helps to identify directions second word is given buzzard means a large word like the vulture that eats the flesh of dead animals buzzard it is a group adjacent means nearby word is given with the next word adjacent tree means nearby tree parted means uh, moved or pushed aside so these words we have in this second uh, part now let's start reading jody gave himself over to thoughts of the phone they passed the abundant clearing he said cut to the north cut to the north milwil it was up here that pa got bitten by the snake and killed the do and uh, i saw the fawn suddenly jody was unwilling to have milwil with him if the fawn was dead or could not be found he could not have his disappointment seen and uh, if the fawn was there the meeting would be so lovely and so secret that he could not endure to share it and this story tells that jody engaged himself in thinking about the phone they crossed a deserted place the deserted piece of land uh, in the forest jody gave directions as he told milwil to turn towards the north Uh, where penny his father got bitten by a snake he had killed the doe and seen the fawn there only all of a sudden jody became unwilling to be uh, with the mill wheel he wondered if the fawn was dead or could not be found he did not want mill wheel to see his uh, disappointment on the other hand if Uh, he found the phone the union or the meeting with him would be so lovely and uh, personal that he could not uh, bring himself to share it a story for the tales he said it's not far now but the scrub is very thick for a horse i can make it on foot but i am afraid to leave you boy suppose you got lost or got bitten by the snake too i'll take care it might take me a long time to find the phone 
if he wandered if he wandered leave me off right here all right but you take it uh, easy now you know you know north here and uh, east there and uh, there that uh, tall pine makes a bearing that word we had uh, read makes a bearing means acts as a compass and helps to identify direction that is jody is telling so long so long will be i am obliged here uh, jody told milville that the point where he saw the phone is not very far to is not very far to far now jody suggested that uh, he would go on by foot as the scrubs ahead are very thick for a horse milville was afraid to leave jody alone as uh, what would happen if he got lost or bitten by a, a snake too then jody assured him that uh, he will handle it and also that it might take a while uh, for him to find the phone in case uh, he is wandered further he told milville to leave him nearby milville followed his direction and advised him to take it easy he asked he asked jody if he is aware where the north and east was jody told him by pointing out the directions that uh, he knows and uh, that the tall pine acts as a compass that helps in identifying directions milville remarks uh, that the pine is also so long to which jody agrees and uh, expresses his gratefulness further story tells he waited for the sound of the hoofs to end then cut to the right the scrub was still the scrub was still only his own crackling of twigs sounded across the silence he wondered for an instant if he had mistaken his direction then a buzzard buzzard means a large bird like a vulture then a buzzard rose in front of him and flapped into the air he came into the clearing under the oaks buzzards sat in a circle around the carcass of the doe carcass means that body they turned their uh, heads on their long scrawny neck necks and his dad him he threw his uh, bow that at uh, at them and uh, they flew into an adjacent tree adjacent the word meaning is given adjacent means nearby so they flew into the adjacent tree the sand showed large cat prints but the big cats killed fresh and they had left the door to the carrion birds in this paragraph a story tells that uh, jody waited for the sound of hoofs to end and uh, uh, let the horse go a bit far and uh, then take a right and then he take a right the shrub or scrub that was in front of him stood still only the sound of a few twigs could be heard uh, in the silence jody uh, doubted for a second if he had mistaken his uh, directions then a large bird like a vulture appeared in front of him and fluttered into the air he came to the abandoned clearing uh, from under the oaks they sat in a circle around the door uh, that led to dead they looked at him with their uh, heads that led on their long necks scrawny necks and his at him jody threw his bow at them 
and they flew into the nearby tree adjacent tree the sand showed marks of the large cat footprints footprints who had killed it recently and had left the do for the carrion birds for the story tells that he parted the grass at the place where he had seen the phone it did not seem possible that it was only yesterday the phone was not there he circled the clearing there was no sound no sign the buzzards clacked their wings impatient to return to their business he returned to the spot where the phone had emerged and dropped on all fours studying the sand for the small hoops hoop hoop prints the knights ran had washed away all tracks except those of cat and buzzards this paragraph says that jody separated the grass from the place where he saw the phone the previous day means yesterday he could not believe um, it had just been a day the phone was not at that place jody searched the abandoned land but but uh, there was no sign and uh, no sound of one on the other hand the buzzards made a sound with their wings out of desperation to uh, resume what they were doing they were impatient to return to their business jody began looking at the place where the phone had uh, appeared from and begin reading begin uh, studying the small hoof prints in the sand but the rain from last night had washed away all tracks except for cats and buzzards so up to here he did not get a phone up to second part but he was he was searching his searching was going on and in third part we will read that if he was successful in his searching or not in his search he will get the phone or not we will read in third part of the story in next class till then thank you have a nice time